In this example, we're going to use SPSS to look at the normal distribution in z-scores. And we're going to use data from the 2012 General Social Survey. Now, using SPSS in this fashion may not possibly be the, the best choice. There are sort of a, a limited number of things that we can do with z-scores in a normal distribution in SPSS. But there are nonetheless some variables that sort of naturally follow a normal distribution for which we can kind of get a better sense of what the z-score and the standard normal distribution actually is intuitively. And so uh, one of those variables is something called word sum. And word sum basically is a variable that counts the number of correct answers that somebody got on a brief vocabulary test. So let's start by creating a histogram of this word sum variable. So if we go to graphs, legacy dialogues, and then histogram, uh, we can select the word sum variable. And that's kind of near the end of the, of the variable list. And then we can move it over here to where it says variables. And we can click on OK. And SPSS will create a histogram of word sum. Now notice that it follows an approximately normal distribution. In fact, one thing that we can do with our graphs uh, is, is to superimpose a normal curve on it. So again, if we go to utilities, I'm uh, sorry, graphs, legacy dialogues, histogram, uh, there's a little check mark we can put right here next to display normal curve. And so if we, if we click OK, uh, notice that SPSS draws a new curve. And this time, the curve has a superimposed normal distribution on it. And so notice the word sum approximately follows a normal distribution. And so uh, the mean is about 6. Uh, there's very few people who get uh, 0 correct. There's very few people who get uh, more than about 10 correct. So most people are sort of in the middle range. And so notice that this variable follows an approximately normal distribution. Now, in SPSS, we can actually do some, some analysis uh, and create a z-score variable. And so if we go up to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Descriptives, uh, let's pick our word sum variable again. So I'm going to scroll down and, and pick word sum, move it over here where it says variables. One of the things that we can do is we can put a check mark next to where it says save standardized variable values as variables. What this does is it's going to create a, a new variable that's a standardized version of word sum. And so basically, uh, we're going to get the values of word sum listed in z-scores. So we'll click OK. And we should find that we have a new variable in our data set. OK, uh, and so how did it do this? Well, uh, the, the output that it includes is some descriptive statistics. So notice that the mean of this variable word sum is 5.96, or close to 6, with a standard deviation of 2.051, so close to 2, right? And so what basically, uh, SPSS took each of the values of the original raw, raw variable word sum, subtracted the mean, and divided by the standard deviation. And it created a standardized version of word sum. And so we can actually graph this new variable. So again, if we go up here to graphs, legacy dialogues, and we'll make a histogram of it. It's going to be kind of at the end of our list. It's the last one. It's called Z word sum. And so we'll take word sum and we'll move it away. And then we'll go to that variable Z word sum. And again, we'll display this normal curve. Click on OK down here. So now notice that we have at the bottom we have a histogram of this new variable. And notice that it too follows a normal distribution, right? So there's very few people who have uh, values in, in either of the tails. Most of the distribution is sort of in the middle here, right? And, and the middle is around the value zero. In fact, if we scroll up just a little bit, uh, here are the actual means and standard deviations that were calculated for this new variable that's expressed in, in, in z-scores. Now, this is kind of a weird measure. Uh, the mean here says that it's a value of negative 3.94 e negative 15. And what that means is basically it's, it's scientific notation. Uh, that's the value negative 3.94 times 10 to the negative 15. So there's, there's like 14 decimal points before the 3. And so basically this is SPSS way of saying that we have some very small value. And because of rounding error, it doesn't sum exactly to a mean of 0. But this is as close as it's going to get. So basically, you could, you could kind of see that as meaning that this is a value of 0. And notice the standard deviation is 1. And so what we've done here is basically we've taken the original word sum variable, and we've changed it into, into a, a variable that follows a standard normal distribution. That is, a distribution that has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. 
And if we wanted to see how the, the original word sum variable compares to uh, the new z-score version of the variable, uh, we can go back to our original data set in the data view. And what we can do is we can kind of scroll over. And we can actually move the word sum variable, which is right up here. We can move this so that it's closer to the actual end of the data set where we have our z, z word sum variable. And so we're just going to kind of move it over. And we're going to continue moving it until we get to the end. And so here we have word sum side by side with the z score value of word sum. And let's kind of scroll in and take a look at some of these. Now, uh, negative 1 for the original variable word sum indicates a missing value. So that wasn't used in the, in the creation of this z word sum variable, the z score equivalent. So when, when you see negative 1, that just means a negative value. And notice that, that uh, SPSS uses a, a dot to indicate that that value is missing. But now look at the, the ones that are non-missing. So here's a value of 7 on word sum. So the standardized version is 0.526618614. And so that basically means that um, 7 is about a half of a standard deviation above the mean. Here's 9. 9 is about 1.5 standard deviations above the mean. 6 is about 0.3 standard deviations above the mean. 3, 3 is less than the mean, right? So 3 is, is 1.4 standard deviations below the mean. That's a negative value. And so you can kind of see that, that uh, what SPSS basically did was it standardized these values, turned them into z-scores, and these values tell you how far each of the raw values are from the center of the distribution, where the mean's located, expressed in terms of standard deviation units. And so that's kind of an interesting thing to look at uh, when we're thinking about standardized variables. Uh, and so this new standardized variable follows a standard normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of the 1. Each of its values are standardized units uh, that tell you in z-scores how far away those values are from the middle of the distribution. Now we could also do something like this in PSPP. PSPP actually has some of the same capabilities. Uh, unfortunately, the histograms are a little harder to make. But uh, if we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Descriptives, you know, again, we can pick our word sum variable. And we can just move it over to where it says variables. And when we can just put a check mark next to where it says save z-scores of selected variables as new variables. And we can click OK. And PSPP will make a new variable that's equal to our, our word sum variable. And so again, if we just wanted to look maybe at the frequency distribution, we can go to analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies. Uh, and that new variable should be in our data set. And it, it, it calls it z-score vocabulary test, z word sum. So the same thing that, that uh, SPSS does. And again, if we click OK, and we go to our output window, and we scroll in, uh, we can basically see how this new variable looks in terms of z-scores. right? So we, we can see that, that uh, there's not very many cases in the tails. Uh, most of the cases are near 0, which is in the middle. You can see that the mean here effectively is 0. Standard deviation is 1. So this is a new variable that follows a, a standard normal distribution. Uh, these are standardized versions, z-score units. Uh, that were basically derived at by taking the, the, the value, the raw score, subtracting the mean, dividing by the standard deviation. That makes the new mean 0, the new standard deviation of 1. And thus, it's a standard normally distributed variable in this case.